Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's TCN Marquee matchup. We do have a battle of heavyweights tonight. It is Young Boys, it is Benfica the second and tenth teams as uh, things stand tonight. We're still waiting on Benfica uh, to put in some of their scores. So Chuck, if you're listening, uh, go ahead, do that for us. Uh, I'm joined alongside me by Vape. Uh, it should be a fun one tonight. Yep, it should be a pretty good game. Um, we got the offensive juggernaut that is young boys versus you know, a pretty good defensive team in benfica so it's gonna be pretty interesting to see who comes out on top whether it's the defense or the offense this benfica team as i'm sure you know vape has uh been a, a mainstay in pcn for a while and they've been doing that uh because of their defense yep i mean that's i mean this old saying goes defense wins championships and i mean they won the league season 11 uh, season and season ten, they had the best defense in the league both seasons. I mean, and typically your best defensive teams are going to pick up more results. Well, and this young boys team that was Inter Milan in uh, season twelve, uh, absolutely blowing the the goals uh, scored out of the water. Uh, and they, this this young boys team is much of the same. They've kept the same group around the group that scored ninety six goals in Super League in that season twelve. Uh, where they won uh, Super League uh, on the goal differential because of their uh, ginormous uh, goal scoring record. Uh, definitely not a team 
to to really play around with and i think it's going to be a very very back and forth battle between who has the better offense and who has the better defense overall i mean i would say you know you would look at like before we get into the lineups i would just say young boys and i mean young boys are definitely probably the better team on paper here but i know benfica loves a good underdog fight so i mean let's jump straight into the lineup scrata let's get into that benfica line of chuck of norris managing his side as always fallen phoenix getting the start in net in three five two of soccer joe perps and zoe pound fate villain and jammy make up the defensive midfield cage technique and nyc fc digs Arlandis down the middle chuck and jabati up top no stone tonight uh for benfica uh definitely a huge loss with stone not being available i mean from my personal experience of playing benfica um this season before transferring um stone has not been his typical self this season um i believe it's down i mean it's mostly been down so i would say his internet issues um and the, for the most part the offense just hasn't been clicking so i'd understand why chuck would want to rotate getting in jabati getting in arlandis you know getting different people in who probably i know it's hard to play fifa on a bad connection everyone knows that because it's it's a game down to milliseconds so if, if your timing is off you're not going to be able to perform to your best and it to you know obviously with benfica wanting to prove themselves this season jump right back up the table chuck's gonna have to go for a reliable internet yeah they uh they've had a very disappointing season last season trying to come back and rebound uh i didn't think it is safe to say it's not quite going uh the way chuck would have imagined uh but he is gonna have to get past the young boys juggernaut that does look like so a three five two for andressi uh, as well, Basil uh, is the goalkeeper. Ortiz, Paponski, and Angel make up the back three. And Angel, uh, who won the Super League title with Benfica just a couple seasons ago. Kangri and Berserker in the midfield with Noah and Dewey out wide. And Dressy down the middle with Grezzi and Istakis up top. And just that front three vape uh, can make probably 15 out of the 20 teams in Super League crumble. Yep, it is, like we said, this team in Season 12 was the best offensive team, and coming into this season, they are still one of the better offensive teams. One of the slight worries, like, with, you know, this group in the past is just the defensive woes, but this is a very solid backline. Ortiz, Pep, Angel, probably their best that they've had under this group of players. Oh, and with Dewey on the outside, and no, they know they're very good defensively as well, so... Overall, this is a very strong young boys team. Um, they are the heavy favorites going into this matchup, but as we all know, anything can happen in FIFA. Well, young boys uh, currently sitting eight points behind uh, Orlando Pirates, who uh, still to this day uh, are leading the Super League table, but it does have to be say young boys having five games in hand coming into this one, so a lot can happen. Uh, they'll have four after this matchup tonight uh but vape this this little dogfight we're gonna have for the super league title it's not gonna be straightforward uh for orlando much like it wasn't last season with leon but it's gonna be a different competitor this season young boys look like they're going to be uh really neck and neck with them the entire way through yep so obviously they do have the games in hand um which will help them but obviously you have to win those games so this will be a good test for the young boys squad right now as they will play Benfica. And it looks like both teams are connecting, so we should be getting in shortly. And that yeah. is my cue, Vape. How on earth might things go tonight? I'm saying 2-0 young boys. I was also going to say much the same. I'm going to say 3-1 uh, to young boys as well. I think uh, that attack is going to be a little bit too hot to handle. Uh, and before we kick off, if you are new to the stream, we are Pro Clubs Nation or PCN. We play Sundays and Wednesdays at 8 and 8.30. At ProClubsNation.com, you'll find the site. Here we go. Scrata, take it away. Well, we have kicked off here. Young boys in their full white kits going from left to right. Benfica in their full gray with the nice red trim going from right to left. And Benfica getting possession of the ball and it's digs now on the far side actually getting a nice drag back we have uh well momentarily lost to benfica player but it looks like he is 
uh, come back. Arlandis trying to find, it looks like Diggs over the top, and Diggs chipping this one into the middle. Jabati got to it. Arlandis with a shot. It that was quite a work out. I mean, that was just your typical EA kickoff. You know, the team off the kickoff is going to have a best chance of scoring right away if they can get pressure. Sure, and Jabadi had a really good chance to bundle it through, but it was a wonderful save by the young boys keeper. And now, I mean, there might be a little bit of nerves in this young boys side, but now they should be gone. They should be ready to go. Young boys almost having a return attack there. They came almost really right down the middle. It had to be uh, dealt with by uh, Perps, who had to hold off the young boys attacker and Angel. Uh, well ball roll that one out of bounds and then get absolutely sent to the floor by his former manager. Young boys with a free kick deep, deep, deep in their own half. And I think they, that's going to be uh, very much how this entire match goes. Very, very back and forth. Yep. Um, both of these teams, I, I mean, I would say they are pretty even other than young boys having probably the better attack out of both teams, but with the, how momentum goes in this league, Benfica has been a little bit on a free fall. Or, I mean, young boys are, you know, on their way up trying to compete for that title. So hopefully the momentum keeps going in their way. The attitudes are all ready to go. I mean, so far it has been pretty back and forth. So we'll see how it goes. Both teams are going to fight hard. And if you can have a free kick in a somewhat dangerous area, but it doesn't look like they're getting too many people forward here. They do a center back who looks like he's going to try and potentially get his head to the back post. They'll go short. Arlandis chipping it over the top. Angel getting his head to it. Arlandis back with it with a shot. And that one not really bothering Abazul. That was an ambitious effort. Um, I mean, you, you got to appreciate the confidence to take a shot like that. But uh, when it lands up in row Z, I don't think he's going to take that again. <laughs> Young boys trying to win this ball back. They haven't really had much possession here so far. 15 minutes in. They're going to try to do a quick attack and get one through here. No, on the far side with a shot trying to catch Fallen Phoenix off his near post. And that's what you'd expect to see from this young boy side. They're going to hold the ball. They're going to pick out the right pass. They're not going to try and force it right away. And right there, they did pick out the right pass, get a shot on target. I'm all, at the end of the day, Phoenix made a really good save. Perps getting his head to that corner and clearing it away. Arlandis now trying to chip it over the top. It looked like Chuck might have been trying to go for it. Fayette wins the header. Arlandis back on the ball. It has been mostly Benfica here. Almost 20 minutes into this one. Young boys not quite warming to the task as of yet. And Pep is going to make a nice little turn. Get his side of the ball once more. And Zoe is going to step right to Andressi. Not allow him any sort of room to breathe. And with a striker like Andressi, you cannot do anything uh, to really invite him to your goal. And hold that thought because now it's Tekas with the ball. It's Tekas. Finding Grezzy now for no with a shot. No finds the bottom corner. It might have gone off of perps. The young boys have the lead, nevertheless. One to no. It was a beautiful little hold up play. You know, it pulled, the sh it pulled the striker out wide in the pass when it was probably in for the outside bid, but it ended up working out perfectly. No tucked inside, ready for the, fir the pass inside, and it was a beautiful finish into the bottom corner. A deft right foot finish from the young boys winger it does put them on top here even though it has been mostly benfica through the first 25 minutes but they haven't really looked threatening with the ball have the portuguese side it is jabati trying to change that chuck posting one up chuck with a shot and a good save and jabati with the rebound he scores one to one benfica draw level immediately if there was any nerves after that goal they are completely squashed benfica yeah beautiful to get right back into the game early on it's now one well it didn't take all but four minutes for benfica to draw a level but andressi trying to find a way through cage technique finding the inside and benfica might try to slow this one down ever so slightly because it is not really what they want vape to have this a very end-to-end -end open contest but again hold that thought your body out to cage is he gonna have a shot Abzul coming out to meet him and ended up just ramming his shins into it. We get stopped a good from save. the young boy's keeper. Cut off the angle, you know, closed it down. Cage, you know, running out of options other than just trying to see if he can slide it past them. But it's a wonderful save. Arlandis now. We've seen a lot of the attacking midfielder so far in this one. 
The young boy's back on the ball. Grezzi only finds Jammy. He's going to find Soccer Joe, and Benfica will recycle possession, but actually just give it straight to Note. And Note into Andressi. Young boy's always dangerous heading forward. Iztekis now and Diggs is able to get to that one. Iztekis into Grezzi. Finding Andressi. Two to one. Andressi with a fantastic finish. That's Young a nice boy's little, back on top. That was a nice little play to recover the ball out of the back by the by Young Boys, working across all the way to the other side of the box. Andressi first time volley near post. No one is saving that. Well, it does have to be said, this is looking to be a fantastic affair already here. 37 minutes in, we've seen three goals. I think that's more goals we've seen on uh, this week's marquee matchup than we did uh, the last two. So it is already looking to be a fantastic thriller here. One that uh, could certainly be remembered for a while, especially if things keep going this way. No, trying to get around Zoe. Doesn't quite work out. And if you could defend her, able to stand up to the winger who has been extremely influential here so far. 40 minutes into this match, and it is now Diggs into Fayette. Only gives it to Berserker. The Young Boys can now come back and counter again. They've scored twice already, have Young Boys from the counter, looking to do it for a third time. Past one defender, trying to chip it in. Zoe can only concede the corner. Can't Young Boys have their second of the game? There's not much time left in this half. We'll see Pep on the near post corner, but just go softly over the bar. I mean, so far this first half, Young Boys has been dominant. I mean, Benfica did have their one chance, but I mean, they did also have a scare right on kickoff. I mean, so far it has been Young Boys' game. Benfica back on the ball. Chipati chipping it up to himself, finding Orlandis. Now into Chuck. What can Chuck do to spur his side on to draw a level once more? This one's sent all the way over Ortiz, who hasn't been entirely busy with digs on that side, and that one Taken away by Jammy, trying to give Benfica one last attack. They will have a throw here on the far side. We've played over a minute of the two added on. Jammy now finding Orlandis, who's going to send this one all the way to the back post. Cage can't get to that one. Dewey found his head to it. Soccer Joe stepping to that, and that will be the end of the first half. Uh, they, that was probably the more, probably the most back and forth uh, we've seen on the marquee matchup in, in some time. 100%. I mean, this is what happens when you get two of the better teams in the league playing against each other. Um, I mean, we get to see Benfica's play style. You know, they're going to look to dominate the possession and, you know, take their time in the ball and try to pick out the right play. While you are going to have young boys who they might not take all the time in the world on the ball, but they know how to find the right pass at the right time. And, I mean, it has shown so far. Well, two to one. And it, it does have to be said that uh, Benfica immediately after conceding didn't really dwell on the, the goal they conceded. They came right back down and uh, ended up drawing level. But what do Benfica need to do to find yet another goal? I mean, I would say Benfica is just trying to be a little bit more aggressive with their attacks. I mean, you see off kickoff when they were aggressive, they did have that chance. And I just feel like they lack that killer instinct right now to be able to try and come back into this game. But I mean, that could definitely change. Well, so. They have 45 minutes to make amends for their first half errors. I'm trying to do so here. Jamie now with the ball. Benfica have uh, faded for the past couple seasons. It wasn't a great finish last season. It isn't going quite to plan this season. They're trying to use this match as more of a statement, I think, Vape, to really say, right, we're still the Benfica of old, and we can still hang with the big boys. As Well, hold that thought. Andressi. Into Grezzi. Can he find Andressi once more? Perks with a great step as Tekis finds the crossbar and Fayette Villain clearing that away. That oh was my. a almost very bad mistake right there from Zoe. I mean, it was still bad. Speaking of mistakes from Zoe. And they might find themselves in trouble here yet again. They're not doing anything to improve their situation. Benfica, Perps trying to clear that one away. Cage gets ahead to it. Zerker back on it. Into his Tekis. Tekis into Andressi, Andressi now trying to find his Tekis once more. Jamie's able to get a hold of that one. Benfica can uh, breathe a sigh of relief for almost a few seconds there as it's tackled out of play. Yeah, I mean, I mean while well, it's interrupted by Zoe, um, Zoe did make the initial mistake that led to a sh the shot off the post and then tried switching it across again. 
which ended up being another interception, and it almost was another chance for you know young boys to extend the lead. Luckily enough for Benfica, they were not be able, they were not clinical enough, and maybe young. I mean, Benfica still has a chance at this game, but you know that there's a lot of nerves in the party right now. Well, I People think it's rather. I think it should be said they make sure to to clip that whole 30 seconds it's probably a collector's opportunity where you hand young boys a chance and they don't capitalize on it uh that is definitely going to be one for the uh one for the shells because you don't see that very often i mean with young boys being one of the better offensive teams in the league i mean you would expect them to finish everything that they get well, especially hold that thought jabati trying to spin still jabati can he get a shot off it's four bodies in front of the net for young boys not allowing anything through. They're already trying to get all the way back down the pitch. They have four bodies in front of their goalkeeper, not allowing him uh, to really have to worry about any sort of shot. Good defending there from the side that isn't entirely known for their defending, but uh, they keep this one still in their favor. Dewey gets that ball. Might have been just a little bit too late. The flag raised off sides, and Benfica will have the ball once more. 65 minutes have been played here. It's 2 1 to Young Boys after three quick fire goals from both sides. It has stayed this way for the greater amount of 30 minutes. Jabati trying to change that and get one back for Benfica to draw a level here. I think even a point for Benfica, they would definitely take uh, from this game. They would enjoy that result because of uh, well their current form hasn't entirely been what they want it to be and against a team like young boys anybody that uh, takes a point or potentially all three points uh, is going to be really enjoying that result here come Benfica Diggs was fouled by Andressi will lead to a free kick it's in a somewhat dangerous area. You can see Perps trying to get into the middle there. Potentially make it uh, a little bit more difficult for this young boy's defense to deal with. Looks like they are going to send it over the top. Looking for Perps. Headed away. Can young boys counter off of the Benfica set play as Tekis with great footwork to find no. We've seen a lot of on this now near side. Orlandis winning the ball back. Can he find potentially Faye in the middle? Lex to go over to Jammy, who's going to collide with no. And Jammy winning that one back. Fika have 15 minutes to try and find an equalizer. Young boys. Uh, I, don't, I don't think young boys are really going to want to sit on this lead vape because uh, it was a team like Benfica. They can really just pop out of nowhere and score on you, but it is. It's Tekis on this near side. Zoe, uh, it was criticized for that earlier, doing well to clear that away, and Benfica can try and come back once more to fate, uh, just simply skying that one out of play. Grezzi trying to find the forward for young boys. Arlandis into digs, almost gave it away. Fayette now He's going to look for Zoe on this near side into Jammy, back to Zoe. Good, good passing play from Benfica, but they need an end result at the end of it. Noah is able to step into that one and not allow anything more down his near side. It's a very high line from Benfica, not allowing anything through. Crazy Perps now surrounded by three Benfica players does well. So chipping that one out of play and Jammy. Heading that one to Chuck with a great overhead kick to find Cage Technique. And now, can Cage potentially make something of this? It's still Cage Technique and Berserker clearing that one away. And now, Young Boys might be through here. Is Tekis Perps had gotten forward. Is Tekis Zoe able to collect that one? There's not much time left in this game for Benfica. If they want to score, they have to score on this chance. And you can see Perps is starting to roam his way forward. They want that goal. They need that goal, Benfica, to get anything out of this match, which they felt they probably could really be in. Because they have, for most of the first half, dominated possession. But it has been young boys this entire second half, and they're showing that dominance with this passing play here with just a handful of minutes to go. They're really just 
keeping possession very well. I'm just going to hand it right to Jammy. And Jammy is going to... Oh, he did have the ball on through. And Diggs now finds Jabati. Jabati into Arlandis. Arlandis with a shot. It wasn't really ever going to get through. Two minutes added on. Aztecas going to sling this one out to do. He's going to lump it forward. Perps. Can Benfica find anything in the dying seconds of this match? Cage tackled away by Dewey, and that will do it. Young boys, two goals in rapid succession in the first half with a Benfica goal in the middle. Take all three points against the Portuguese side in Vape. I think that was definitely one of the more intriguing matchups we've had in the marquee matchup in a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, it's something you would, like, looking at the stats, you wouldn't really expect to see from the young, this young boys team. They actually, you know, they got outshot, they had less possession, their passing was worse, but at the end of the day, they got the goals. They got out of there, they'll smash and grab. Defended well after, you know, taking the lead. And, I mean, there's not really much else to say other than that. Well, the young boys were even almost gifted a goal. They could have put the, the match away, ended up hitting a crossbar at the end of the day, but... Uh, if you're Benfica, you're probably kicking yourself because you re they could have uh, gotten a point out of that one, if not all three. I mean, that's just been the story of Benfica season. Um, I don't know if you guys, anyone saw the clip from last Wednesday's cup match against Leverkusen, but um, I I'll just break it down for you guys. Extra time, tied nil-nil. Leverkusen hasn't had a shot all game. LBY over the top to a completely offside striker. Ball goes in. I mean, that's just, you know, it's been their season. It's, it's just been a lot of unfortunate, you know, game after game where they just aren't able to put the ball in the back of the net more than once or even at all. And I mean, it's just been one of those games right here. You saw they did have a lot of shots this game. It didn't result in a lot of goals. And when you walk, are playing against a team that is as good at offensively as young boys, you need to be able to score, outscore them because they are going to score goals. And that is exactly what we saw. They had three, what was it, three shots on target, two goals. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, if you, I mean, you can't win the game if you aren't scoring more than the other team. So, fair play to Young Boys taking the result here. Well, that does put Young Boys at Lenny United were temporarily in second place. That is no longer the case. Young Boys will regain second place in the Super League table. They are now 47 points with, again, those four games in hand over Orlando uh, should they convert uh, potentially all of those into three points. It could be somewhat of, uh, of a gap between Orlando and Young Boys. Meanwhile, Benfica continue to struggle. It's uh, It hasn't really been ideal for them. They've been passed up by New York City, passed up by Monaco, passed up by Manchester United, see themselves all the way down into 13th position. Uh, but they can only find themselves sliding further and further down. I mean, that's just how, you know, FIFA is. It's either a really good form, really bad form, and right now Benfica is just on a stretch of really bad form, and it's hard to break out of that. I mean, we saw that in the past with Season 12 with Atlanta. You know, they're flying high at the top of the league, took their first loss, and then they dropped three straight more, end up finishing, I believe, was fourth that season. Uh, yes. I might be wrong. Will, fact check. Repeat that. So Atlanta, uh, season 12, they, had, they were flying up high in their first place through like 28 games, and then they dropped their first game of the season for a loss, and then ended up crashing all the way down the fourth, if I'm correct? Yep. Uh, it, should it? Be a, it should be a first-hand experience. Yes, that's why I asked Will, because me and him <laughs> both probably don't want to remember that. <laughs> but I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, you could say the better team won. I mean, Young Boys did score more goals, but if you looked at the match facts at the end of the match, they were outshot, outpossessed, outpassed, at least percentage-wise. But, I mean, they got the win. And that's all that matters at the end of the day is the final score. Doesn't matter how you do it. Well, uh, Will, do we have anything more that we should uh, we should cover? Uh, team of the Week's going to release this week. Um... Shouldn't be too long. We're working on graphics right now, so the teams have been selected, um, all that good stuff. Um, no, submit your stat, stat clips, all that good stuff. Um, I think that's all all I have for the admin front. And we should see team of the week before Wednesday, if I'm correct. Um, I don't want to say that, but I'm hoping so. 
I'm just putting pressure on everybody because I love to do that. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> I'm hoping so, but uh, no promises. Team of the Week will be out in the next five seconds. What's up? Team of the Week will be out in the next five months. At some point between now and uh, 2021, you will uh, see this week's Team of the Week. Uh, anyway, for myself, for Vape, who uh, graciously stepped in tonight, and for Will, who uh, yes, had to tie a string to his tooth, and uh, yank it out in order to get these marquee matchups uh, to run properly. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see all of you beautiful people on Wednesday.